everybody, could you use some good news? Well, what better way to start the final and now the good news of 2015 than with a story from outer space? And here it is. Astronomers have discovered the nearest potentially habitable extrasolar planet yet. The planet is designated Wolf 1061c, and it orbits the star, you guessed it, Wolf 1061, which is approximately 14 light years from Earth, right around the corner, cosmically speaking. Wolf 1061c is one of three planets that orbit the star. All three are larger than Earth, but small enough to be terrestrial planets rather than gas giants. And most importantly, Wolf 1061c, which is about four and a half times the size of Earth, orbits within the star's habitable zone, meaning planetary conditions could allow for the existence of liquid water and perhaps even life. Wolf 1061c isn't the closest extrasolar planet. It's not even the closest extrasolar planet that orbits in its star's habitable zone. But it is the closest terrestrial extrasolar planet orbiting in its star's habitable zone, making it the closest planet that might possibly be capable of supporting life as we know it. The planet was discovered by astronomers at the University of New South Wales, and the paper on its discovery will be published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Next up, researchers at UCLA have invented a new, strong but lightweight, structural metal. The metal is a composite of magnesium and silicon carbide. The silicon carbide is infused into the magnesium in the form of evenly distributed nanoparticles. The result is a material with an incredibly high strength to weight ratio, a high stiffness to weight ratio, and stability at high temperatures. This new material has a dizzying variety of potential applications, from aircraft and spacecraft construction, to automobile construction, to biomedical devices and electronics. The paper on silicon carbide-infused magnesium is published in the journal Nature. And finally, a new study from Brown University suggests that regulating a fat-transporting protein could improve our health as we age. Researchers studied nematodes, those are roundworms to lay folk like you and me, and found that when a fat-transporting protein called vitellogenin, or VIT, was genetically silenced, the worm's lifespans increased by up to 40%. The researchers found that too much VIT hindered the worm's natural ability to break down fat. And if you're wondering what this has to do with us, mammals produce a protein called ApoB that does the same job for us that VIT does for the worms. Controlling ApoB has already been found to help prevent cardiovascular disease. This new research suggests the benefits could be broader still, extending lifespans and preventing the development of age-related disease. The study is published in the journal Autophagy. Astronomers discover the nearest potentially habitable exoplanet yet, engineers create a lightweight and strong new metal composite, and controlling a fat-transporting protein could lead to longer lives and better health. It's exciting, isn't it? That's the good news. I know. I know. Hi everybody, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.